Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. We wrote the logic for triggering method. We wrote the logic for event handler method. Now we have to call these methods. Now, firstly, we will call the triggering method. This is your object name of the triggering method of the triggering. Suppose this is our class, class one. It has a instance method display and it is a triggering method. So we will call the triggering method with the help of object display. All will interchange. Import is export. Export is import now. Exporting. PVBELN is equal to P underscore VBELN. Import. PER dat is equal to LV underscore ER dat. PERZDT is equal to LV underscore ERZDT. P E R num is equal to L V underscore E R num. P V B type is equal to L V underscore V B type. Now I will declare these four variables. L V underscore E R dat. L V underscore E R Z E T. LV underscore ER num and LV underscore VB type. I'll check the syntax and I will write the right statement now. Right. I will write the right statement. Write LV underscore ER dat LV underscore ER ZDT LV underscore ER num and LV underscore VB type. I will write the slash so that it will appear in new line. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now we wrote the logic to call our triggering method. Suppose I am not passing any input. So control will go to this method. The input is blank. It will raise this particular event no underscore input. Whenever this event will raise my event handler method logic should execute should execute how system understand that then this when this particular event will raise you should call the logic of event handler method so we will do the last step now we have to register the event handler method. We have to register the event handler method. How we will register the event handler method? We will write the logic. Set handler. What is your event handler method name? This is our object of our class 2 and what is our event handler method name message and this event handler is for which particular class object for lo underscore object one most most important point i will write the comment here also registering 
the event handler method registering the event handler method how system understand whenever you will raise this event it should trigger the logic of event handler method you should register the event event handler method how you will register the event handler method set handler is a keyword this is your event handler method because our method is a instance so we have to call with the help of object and it is a event handler method for what for our first object for our first class object yes so this is the way how you can register the event handler method without this system will not understand that whenever this event will raise it should call the logic for event handler method you should make understand that make sap understand that this is your event handler you are registering the event handler method for the particular event of that particular class for the event whenever this event will raise our event handler method or event handler logic will execute for the best understanding i will put the break point so that you can understand more clearly now i will simply write a if condition firstly here if lb underscore er that is not initial and lb underscore er zdt is not initial and lb underscore er num is not initial and lv underscore vp type is not initial and if if you are passing the right input all these four values will not be blank will be will not be blank will not be initial will not be null so i am checking if all the values are not null then i am displaying those values else this simple message will come we will understand the flow in the debugging mode and most important understanding will come here suppose firstly i am passing the right input suppose 3 my object of first class will create my object of second class will create we are registering the event handler method now it is calling the method of first class now we are passing the input so system will not raise the event it will go to else part it will fetch the details yes it will fetch the details and it will display all these details now i am not passing the input now the real understanding of our topic i am not passing the input now firstly object of class 1 class 2 both classes object are created means event as the class which has the event handler method and the class which has the triggering method both objects are created now we register the event handler method for our first class object now we are calling our method display now our input is initial whenever our input is initial this particular event will raise and who will handle the event whenever event will raise your event handler method and 
how this event handler method will call now because we registered this event handler method so whenever i will do f5 you can see simply control is going to event handler method and you can see this is our output so this is the whole and important understanding of the topic method of one class call the method of another class in the future we have the topic alv by oops concept at that time again events will play an important role at that point of time so this is the way how we can perform the practical how we can understand the concept of event three important terms what is triggering method what is event handler method and how to register the event handler method thank you very much thank you